taking eight years, but I'm doing it. We're doing it for the vlog. Do it for the fun. We're gonna do it for the vlog. So this is my handy dandy flawless um eyeshadow brush holder thingy majigger first. I use these two brushes um for majority of it. This one, they're both like thick at the top, but this one has a thinner one. I use it for the crease of my eye. And then this one is just kind of like, oh, um, I think it's called like something about your brow. So first I'm gonna use Modern Renaissance and I'm gonna go ahead and get this man eater out. And then um, I'll have my Mac one out today too. So I'm kind of just gonna do like a basic like smoky eye, but I'm not gonna do it like, um, CA's color is like um, blue. So first I'm gonna use like as white as I can get and I'm just gonna go over my whole eye with a thick brush and it's super soft so it kind of just blends over the whole eye. So that just kind of like creates a setting for my eyes so they're not red anymore. I have a lot of red undertones. And then I'm just gonna take another white and go right along the edges of my eyebrow and then I'm gonna take more of like a cream, like this color, you can't really tell, but it's cream, it's called Passion. Got a passion for it. And then I'm just gonna like, underneath where I just did for uh, the highlight of my brow, I'm just gonna like go back and forth really smoothly. So I'm just using the same color right now. And then I'm just gonna switch brushes because this one's a little bit thicker. And then I'm gonna use this one it's called Burnt Orange, but it's really just like a light brown. So that's what it looks like when I'm done. It's almost like a light, light brown or a cream. Now I'm gonna use just a darker um, brown. It's called Saucy. Saucy! Just like to go along the very top of my eye, right by my brow. Blend all the way in to the crease of my eye. I wanna make sure I get the whole eye, not just the outer parts. So now I'm taking a dark brown and I'm starting at the bottom of my eyelid and I, you can see I just like put it on and then I just Dab my way up back to that eyebrow. Little stop before the white comes before my brow. And then I go up and down with that. And then I'm just rubbing this in. Same thing for both eyes. So now I'm gonna go to more of like a, I would say a red, as you can tell. Uh, and I just go start from the middle literally the center crease and I just go strictly along the crease. You'll have like a auburn almost color around your eyes. And then next we go to the purples and I start from the beginning so I start from the lighter colors and I take both of them and then I just go all the way back around what I just did so it kind of really blends like the whole thing. And then I'm going to this darker purple. It's a little bit more pink. Um, and then I'm going all over my eyelid except for the white spot by my brow. Now I'm taking like a literally a hot pink and I'm just doing the crease again. I like to look down when I'm doing my creases because it gets all of my crease without um, me having to like look up or raise my eyebrows or get um, splotchy. So what I'm gonna do with that now is go to a brown, like a dark brown. This one's called Cypress and it's really dark brown and I just 
lightly dab on the edges only. I'm going to the dark purple I have, doing the same thing, just on that outer rim. Bye. And so now you can see like there's definitely dark on the outside. So now I'm taking this brush that I haven't done anything with besides the light brown. I'm gonna dab it in the burnt orange again, and now I'm just gonna draw to the inner um, part of my eye. Once that's done, I'm going back to the red, going all the way in the top and the crease now. So now you can tell that there's like more of a dark red, um, kind of like auburn tint, like the brown. I just feel like brown makes my blue eyes pop. And now I'm gonna take this really like thin little piece and do you see how it's kind of underneath there? You can either like take a white and like scratch out from underneath there, but I like to take the original powder brush I used that was really like clumsy and thin and just draw under my eye so it's all gone. Literally so easy. I don't know how it works good, but it does. And I kind of just draw like from my eyeball, the outer rim of my eyeball, to the last like hair on my eyebrow. Um, just so my like eyeshadow doesn't go um, too far out. So now you can see like, it's obviously dark. Um, it looks a lot lighter too, because of how bright my um, mirror is. And I'm going to a super white, it's called Meow. And then I'm literally just drawing on the rim um, underneath my eyebrow. I start from the beginning of my eyebrow, even if it's just a streak, and I draw all the way to the end of it, just to really highlight and outline my eyebrow. So now you can see like there's really like a highlight, and that was only at the white that I used, but I'm about to use a sparkly glitter that I'm gonna try. Kind of like a gold, just silver, it's more gold. But I do the same brush, and I just, um, underline my eyebrows. So that one's a bit more sparkly. Let me show you. So you can definitely see the um, the eyebrow highlight now. Not the most comfortable thing, not gonna lie. Warning, eyeshadow's probably gonna get in your eyeballs. But, beauty's pain, am I right, ladies? Okay. Hello? Hello, mom. What are you doing? Say hi to the vlog, mom. Hi. You gotta say hi, vlog. Hi, vlog. <laughs> Why do I have to say hi, vlog? Because I'm in the middle of a vlog right now. For who? For, it's the vlog channel. It's what? Okay. Okay. Well, that's my mom, everybody. This is Kelly, Hi. the one and only. The one and only. They're on a massive shopping spree at Nordstrom, so. Hmm. Did you get me anything? No. Oh, thanks, mom. Okay, then I'm just gonna take that white and go kind of just draw a line from my eyelashes to my eyebrow. That is the smoky eye. Young dumb bro eyes looking. Okay, now we are on to eyebrow. Okay, 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 here we are. Just a powder from Anastasia and I use the medium brown and it's literally just a powder. And I use the light brown a lot and then medium. I have pretty dark eyebrows for my hair color anyways. So I just dab like right there. And then I'm just gonna like draw literally right above the highlighted uh, eyeshadow. So for the edges, 
I'm gonna use a brown and make a more uh, definite shape. Especially because I got all that eyeshadow in my eyebrow. I got all that. I got all that in there. Now, I will take this. It's a gel, it's just from the same kit. And I'll just... brush over my eyebrows. And sometimes they're still like sticking up. As you can see the little hairs. Um, so I'll just take this eyebrow brush and I'll just drag it along my face so they're all going in the same direction and just drag it down brow look so now my eyebrows and eye makeup is done so now I'm using this um, just thin eyeliner and I only do it to about this far normally and I always do my eyeliner before I put on my eyelashes just so I can tell where I want them to be exactly the only competition I really do like wing eyeliner for is like World's Day 3, but like I'll do it for you guys just for today, just so you can see how I do it. So after I have it all the way drawn out from my eye, I kind of follow my eyeshadow. And then once I've drawn a line, I stick with that line and I go backwards, so I just fill that in. Not gonna lie, I was really nervous about that, but it looked really good. Woo! I've not done wing eyeliner so long. I feel like I'm flying. Okay, uh, now I'll do the other one. Hopefully, this does not go bad. I point it in the same direction as my eyebrows in. So once you feel like your line is far enough out, that's when you would just fill it in. They're about even, I think. It's pretty quick to do eyeliner, as long as you don't stress out like I just did. Now I'm going to do eyelashes. And all I'm gonna do is find my glue. So these are the eyelashes I use. I use Kiss, and I use the same ones. Sometimes, as you can tell, I've used those. I'm gonna use these bottom ones, just so I don't have to do anything really extra. I use this. Um, the adhesive glue, it's called Duo, and it's literally in like any kit that you buy from like Walgreens. It's so cheap. I just always start with my um, left eye first because it's my good hand, but I always make sure it fits first, so I'll put it like where I want it to be. Yeah, it fit about right, and then I'll glue it. And I just kind of outline like the line of black, have the most glue. The middle is not really the most important as long as it has some. And then I just blow on it. Now, time. I stick it along the edge of my eyeliner. Sometimes I have to scoot it in closer. Keep your eye closed. Keep pressing on the edges really. And if you want, like right now, I'm going to take a little eyelash flicker, tweezer, whatever, and make sure it's really like glued down. And the good thing about this eyelash glue is that even the spots like you see white right now, it will dry clear. But yeah, these are my all-time fave lashes because they have lots of volume and they fit my eyelids and I have really, really tiny eyelids. The good thing about eyelashes that you've already used is they apply on so much quicker than brand new ones. Blah. And I just like curl as close to my eye as possible. Like sometimes it feels like I'm grabbing my eye and I pull down and then I kind of just like lift up to make sure I'm not pulling the eyelashes with me off. 
the mascaras I use, I mainly use this one for like an everyday mascara and that's the L'Oreal Telescopic Black. It's so good, like literally the best mascara ever. Up. And they're curled. Honestly, these angles are trash and I really need Dylan to help me when I'm at home. And I'm also sad because my mom went to North Park and spent money and didn't give me anything. How rude. So I always like to use mascara, um, even though they are fake. I just use a little bit like on the bottom, just to kind of get the blend. So you can see the difference between the eyelashes. This one's just more like voluminous, I guess. And it's darker, so it pops more like for cheerleading and when you're on stage and stuff. And then I'm just using this one to separate it. So that is one eye with mascara, and that's the other one without. So you can see a little bit of a difference. So now that my eyelashes are done, it's time for the lip day. Okay, so that is all done. And what I just used for my lips is actually, it's a Stay Matte um, liquid color um, lipstick from, I think it's from Maybelline. But yes, it is so good. And actually, it's just kind of like a dark pink and it turns into a burgundy. But after that, I put like a darker purple on. So it's almost like a tint of red, but not really red because I don't have to wear red for competitions. Thank you guys for watching. So sorry if this took forever. Um, so um, I really hope you liked it. And if you have any questions or um, any comments, please leave them down below and subscribe. Go.